truly great thing about American golf is that there is so much of it in so many different locations. My latest golf adventure has me heading to the state of Alabama. Generally known for the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, the state does have a couple other public offerings that shouldn't be overlooked. Number one on my list, Kiva Dunes. Located just west of Gulf Shores, Alabama, on a peninsula sticking into the Gulf of Mexico, Kiva Dunes is remote, unique, and for me was just plain awesome. The adventure, challenge, and natural beauty is not a combination that is easily achieved. Played the tips and at over 7,100 yards with a slight breeze, I was sure to be tested. Let's get out there and see what I can create on this wonderful canvas of a course. My dad got off to a great start with a birdie on the first hole. Go pop! I myself would have to settle for an opening par. The second hole is a strong par 5 that really makes you think about your second shot and whether or not going for it makes the most sense. I played conservative as the wind was in my face and the water on the right was looming large. The par threes at Kiva are the real standouts in my opinion. The first one played over 220 yards and offered some real trouble on the left. I was so happy with hitting a great tee shot that I forgot about my short game in putting and that fell apart. Ay ay ay. Luckily for me on the fourth hole, I let go of all the negative thoughts about the poor chip and putt and attack the hole with power and precision, leading to an easy birdie. The fifth is my favorite par five and requires a tee shot that stays away from the right side as water in the form of a marsh is waiting to swallow up any aggressive players looking for a shortcut.
six is quite visually intimidating with sand and water all down the left side, but in reality the fairway is one of the widest on the course. The longest of the par 4s, the 7th, feels like a short par 5 at 495 yards. After a great tee shot, I still had 200 yards left. I hit a perfect 5 iron that just missed releasing all the way to the hole. See, even he thought it was a par 5. <laughs> the reason the par 3s really stand out to me at Kiva Dunes is the fact that each one has variation in distance, even from the tips. They also each have multiple challenges that require different shot shapes to completely master. Luckily for me, I mastered my sand shot and saved par here in the 8th. The ninth is probably the best par four on the course. Once again, trying to cut the corner on this dog leg is only going to lead you down a road of despair. A shot down the middle straight away will leave you with an approach surely to get the blood pumping. I hit my best shot of the day and left myself only a short distance for birdie. This round was starting to catch some steam. Maybe I could go low on the back nine. The 10th is a short hole that requires a precise attack angle on your second shot. I took dead aim and was rewarded with too much spin causing my ball to spin some 30 feet away from the pin. A miserable first putt led to some trepidation on my second putt, leading to my first three putt of the round. I didn't let this get me down, however, because I knew I was hitting it pretty well, and if I could just get the putter going, something special might happen. Unfortunately, once again, the putter was just not cooperating.
my second favorite par four on the course. The 12th requires a long drive and a precise approach to have any chance at birdie. I pulled off both and now it was time to sink the birdie. Seriously, why is this happening to me right now? Here we are with another great par three. I went aggressively at the pin, and unfortunately my aggressive line was a little pull, forcing me to use my short game to get up and down. My chip nearly went in, and the way my putting has been going, I really needed that chip in. <laughs> the 14th is the first of back-to-back -back par fives. I was starting to feel tired out from the walk. The push cart really struggled on the overseated fairways, and after not walking for over a month, I was losing steam fast. My second shot from the fairway was a real stinker, and certainly my worst shot of the day. Luckily, I found the ball sitting in the rough and was able to have a nice look at birdie. As you can see, looks can be deceiving. A big drive, a great layup, and a sublime chip all led to one thing, a par. My confidence was beginning to wane, and a lazy drive and a pulled seven iron led to a sand shot not nearly close enough to be a tap in. Instead it was a lip out and my under par round was running out of chances. The 17th was a great way to get one last surge of adrenaline out of this golfer. A beast of a par 3, especially into the wind, I hit a really confident shot and thought I was much closer than where I actually ended up.
I should have studied the map of this hole a little more and steered clear of the bunker on the left. I was left with a very tough angle and stance and was forced to lay up on this tough finisher. My chip felt perfect, but this green is massive and I misread the size. Once again, the putter or the ball became terrified of success and just missed its mark. This bogey, however, didn't dampen my spirits at all. I thought the experience at Kiva Dunes was unforgettable. The whole place feels magical and the sound of surf is ever present, which leads to a wonderful calming effect during the round. I can't say enough about this place and hope everyone gets the opportunity to come here at least once in their life. Once the round was over, it was off to Gulf Shores for a bite to eat. If you're looking to pair Kiva with some great southern food, then head over to Hog Wild, only 20 minutes away from the course. You won't be disappointed. Just ask my dad. Best you ever had? Yeah, I would say the meat was the best I've ever had. Wow, that's high praise. I hope everyone enjoyed the course and watching me play the round. If you're curious about how I swing the club and approach the game, I have written a book about my style of teaching. I have been teaching golf for over 25 years and have been named one of the best teachers in America by Golf Digest. Feel free to check out my Peaceful Golf website and allow yourself to enter the world of peaceful golf. Remember, at Peaceful Golf, it's not just a game, it's a way of life. And until the next time, peace.